you all. One of my favorite authors is Shel Silverstein. He writes a lot of poems, he writes books, and he even draws his own pictures. And I have been reading his books since I was a little girl. And this book that I'm going to read from today, titled Where the Sidewalk Ends, is my book from when I was little and I've kept it all these years. Um, I have multiple books written by him and I now read them to Max and McKenzie. And um, today I'm going to read you a poem from Where the Sidewalk Ends that Shell wrote. And it is um, about money and we've been learning about money in the classroom and how much coins are worth and how to add them together and get change. So I thought this would be really cool to incorporate what we're learning in math and reading. So I'm going to read you this poem and then I want you to tell me what you think about it. On the other side, there's a poem called Pancake. So maybe we can read that in the classroom. But today we're going to read this poem and it's called Smart. My dad gave me one dollar bill, cause I'm his smartest son. And I swapped it for two shiny quarters, cause two is more than one. And then I took the quarters and traded them to Lou for three dimes. I guess he didn't know that three is more than two. Just then along came old blind Bates, and just cause he can't see, he gave me four nickels for my three dimes, and four is more than three. And I took the nickels to Hiram Coombs down at the seed feed store, and the fool gave me five pennies for them. Five is more than four. And then I went and showed my dad, and he got red in the cheeks, and closed his eyes and shook his head, too proud of me to speak. What do you think about that? Do you think his dad was really proud? Or do you think he was a little confused? He kept trading. He took one dollar bill and traded it for two quarters. Then he took two quarters and traded it for three dimes. Then he took three dimes and traded it for four nickels. Then he traded the four nickels for five pennies. So tell me why you think he was confused. What was he thinking? Let me know what you think about that poem. I love Shell. I think he's funny. And I love his pictures, too. And I think you will, too. We'll read more from this soon, okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye.